What up, YouTube? Back with another video. Here we go. You can tell by the title. Chicken, turkey, dumplings. What? You got your chicken dumplings. You got your turkey dumplings. But do you have the combo? No. Rob Dog 313. I'm here to bring you another banger. Something different. Turkey with chicken. It's not going to kill you to have two different kind of birds at one time. So, here we go. Let me show you these ingredients. Let me pre-cook my meat, get it to boiling, and we're taking off. Be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. You see, I got my water boiling for my turkey and my chicken. And over here, the ingredients today to make this happen, we got turkey and chicken that I chopped and cleaned and plucked the little pieces out that you don't like. So that's a combination of turkey and chicken. Now, the rest of the ingredients, I'm going to be using mixed veggies. I'm going to be using mixed veggies soup combination. I got two packs of Graham Biscuits Pill Berries. That's going to be for my dumpling. I got my carrots that I'm going to chop up, my onion that I'm going to chop up, and my celery that I'm going to chop up. Okay, I got five chicken bouillon cubes and the cream I'm not sticking to one like most people I'm gonna do a triple cream because they all go together and coincide with each other anyway upon making this dish so I got cream of celery cream of mushroom and cream of chicken and of course in the back I got my seasonings I got salt pepper I got my garlic parsley and my paprika now it's going to take this to make that wonderful dish now I'm actually going to start boiling my turkey pieces and my chicken let's go water's perfect boiling nice and hot chicken pieces are clean any debris on them I took off. Oh man, look how big those turkeys, those turkey pieces are, man. The wings. I took actually I took the uh tip wings off. Oh man, they so big. Turkey and chicken dumpling like man, who who the heck thinking of that? I am. My family loves it when I cook. Now my girl, she know how to cook a lot and actually helps me with a couple of things, but she's not here right now. I just decided to get up. I'm going to make chicken and dumpling. And then I thought, why don't I do turkey too? So stay tuned. Let me go ahead and dice up these veggies. And let this meat go ahead and cook in. I already added salt into the uh, water. So I'm going to let it go ahead and do its thing, which is going to take about, uh, say, 35, 45 minutes. So as soon as it's done and my veggies are chopped up, I'll be right back. I love y'all. Here we go. Okay. I'm back. Subscribe, dog. 313. Subscribe. Comment. Let me know what you guys do. Let me know you guys' style. This is my style. Now, what I'm doing, I'm actually, I added a little proportion of the celery. I added a little proportion of the onions. I didn't put no carrots in there yet. I put my seasonings in there. 
I added basil, rosemary. I did black pepper. I did onions. I did my garlic powder, a little parsley just for the presentation. And I did paprika. Now, I'm going to add a little wine, just a, a little touch of wine. Like, why you add wine? I ain't trying to get a buzz. No, I'm not buzzing you. It, it, it drenches it a little bit. It helps the flavor. So, I put about a half a cup of wine in there. See, everybody got their style. This is my style. You know, and my mother taught me a couple of things, so I flipped and dipped and did a couple of things that I want to do to bring it out. And also, I go to YouTube and I look at everybody's style, and I combine them. Now, I've been letting it boil for about 40 minutes, 45 minutes. Now, the reason why I'm letting it boil properly is because the turkey meat is actually bigger and thicker than the chicken meat. Notice the chicken is floating to the top and the turkey meat is dropping to the bottom. So what I'm gonna do is actually let it cook for about 15 to 20 more minutes. And all my see, man, this food smells so good. All my seasonings are coming together. Such a blend, it smells so good. So as soon as they do that, what I'm doing is actually going to take the, the meat out and I'm going to debone the meat. And I'm going to uh, use the rest, the reason why I got my seasoning, the reason why I got my celery, my onions, and I also took a couple of uh, garlic cloves and chopped it up and put it in there. I'm basically making a, a broth. A chicken and turkey broth. You just can't call it chicken because I'm doing the combination. So I'm going to let it go ahead and cook for a little bit more. It's almost done, guys. Like I said, don't take too long. The only longest process is the boiling of the chicken. So let me go ahead, finish my process, and I'll be right back. Hey, 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 I'm back. So now I deboned the chicken and turkey. Really, you looking at it, I can't tell the difference between the chicken and the turkey. I don't know why I never heard of nobody else doing this. But after you see my video, I hope you give it a try with your certain ingredients that you use. Now, since I'm holding the camera and I only got really one hand to use to hold the camera and also finish preparing the meal. I got the rest of the celery, got my carrots and my onions, and I took the uh, tops off of my uh, cream. Like I said, I got chicken, I got celery, and uh, mushroom cream. Now, the last preparation is going to be my biscuits. So I'm going to put in my vegetables, and firstly, I'm going to put in my chicken. Now, I got my, what you can call it now, chicken broth. After my seasonings, after all of that, oh, it smells so good. And I added a couple of more seasons to it just to enhance it. So like I say, the seasoning is all up to you. So now you're going to see me, I'm going to put in the turkey and the chicken okay let me try to do this because like I said I'm doing it with one hand so bear with me here guys I had to get the lid out the way now I'm going to start and putting the turkey and chicken into the broth oh, I wish you guys were here to see what it smell like is smells so good. I deboned them. I took all the gristle out. I grew up with my mother. She did it. And we used to eat the bones with the gristle in there and all of that. It was totally good. You know? You eat chicken anyway with the bones. So 
why not with this? But I'm like, okay, let me go ahead, since I got a chance to debone it, I'm gonna just eliminate the bones, the gristle, and the veins. So now I brought that to a medium heat. So while that's coming up, I'm gonna actually put the rest of the veggies in there. If I can do this with one hand, that'll be perfect. Man, they look so colorful, so good. Okay, it seems like that's not happening the way I want it to happen, so what I'm actually gonna do is just grab it with my hand. Much simpler. Don't lose no veggies or nothing. And I'm gonna let this simmer and cook in until the veggies actually get a little texture to them, a little soft. I don't want them that hard. Okay, almost done, one more scoop. And I'm gonna let this sit for about 10, 15 minutes or so. And then I'm gonna add my cream. The only reason why I'm letting it sit, like I said, is just to get a softer texture to my veggies. Okay, there we have it. That was simple, one-handed. I'm doing the best that I can, so bear with me. Here we go. Now, the ingredients that's left, the cream, the veggies, and the biscuits. So let me finish preparing, putting the veggies in. Don't make no sense to put those original veggies in and not putting the frozen veggies in. So I'm putting the frozen veggies in also. I don't care what brand you get, as long as it's mixed vegetables, man. You know, everybody ain't on, on a money thing, so you might be on a budget or something. And like I say, I make my videos nice, quick, and simple for you. The only thing you gotta wait for is the boiling of the chicken and the turkey. Okay, so that's done. All my veggies are in there. So I'm actually gonna uh, sit and wait and let them go for about, like I said, 10, 15 minutes. Mix them in a little bit with that, with that uh, turkey and chicken meat. Forgive me if the camera goes astray a little bit. Man, that looks beautiful. That looks pretty. That chicken broth and those seasonings, man, smells so good. Now, I'm going to let that sit for about, like I said, 10, 15 minutes on a medium heat. Let it come to. Then when I come back, I'm going to be adding my cream and plus my uh, dumplings. So let that boil up and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. Like I told you, there's nobody else here to hold the camera, so I'm using my tripod. So now, I'm going to add, you're going to see me add my three different combinations of cream, celery, mushroom, and chicken. And after I add that and mix it in, I'm going to put my dumplings in. Okay, so let's go. Pick that up right quick, let you guys see what's going on right here. Look like love in that pot. Looks so good, it's ridiculous. So then now it's bubbling together. I only got a couple of hands to hold the camera and to hold the cream of mushroom. So let me set that tripod back up and let's put them in. Okay, the first one is gonna be cream of celery. 
hold it close to the boil so it don't pop up, no hot water bumps up and back up in your face. Okay, I'm clearing this can out. I want every little bit that I can get. Cream of celery. Okay, that was done. Now I got my cream of mushroom. It's a certain type everybody else uses. I'm, I, you know, I, I exert a couple of things in, in order to be different. You know, I, my mother's recipe, my girl's recipe, and this is my recipe. I don't know, you know, I just gotta do something, something different. You know, if you notice all of my dishes got a little twist to them. Okay, now got the cream of chicken. Gonna put that up in there. Then gonna mix it up all good. And then the last one I'll be doing is my Pillsbury biscuits. I chopped them all up in four quarters of every biscuit. It's eight in every pack. So I'm cooking like for about, my son, he doesn't stay here, but he still comes here to eat sometime. And he, Cause he, 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 you know, the kids, when they venture off into their own life, got his own carpet and all of that. They don't mind coming home back to some home cooking. And I don't mind cooking for them, man. Okay, there. Now I put two cream of chickens, one mushroom, and I put one celery. And let me dispose of this spoon right quick. Throw these cans in the garbage. Okay, now what you see me do right now is I'm actually going to mix it up. Now I can hold the tripod and actually show you the mix. Let me show you the mix. Man, that looks beautiful. I don't know no other way to put it. That looks totally beautiful. And it smells beautiful. So it's mixing up. I'm going to let it get thick. Let everything mix together perfectly. Oh, the smell is ridiculous. And I can feel the thickness as I stir it. So I'm going to let that simmer. for a couple of minutes, but trust me, I'm not going nowhere. I'm not going to keep cutting the clip. Let you guys enjoy this right quick. Seeing as I start, like I said, if there's any problem with the cameras, forgive me because I'm doing multitasking. I like seeing my carrots, my peas, onions, celery, and even corn and a couple of pieces of okra in there. You know, veggies, you know, the combination is just superb. So while that's cooking, coming up, you know, uh, simmering for a second, I'm going to get ready to put in the Pillsbury dough brand. That's, that's, I keep saying Pillsbury because that brand is Beautiful. Why would you have to mix up your own? I know how to mix up my own like I know how to make my pizza during my last video. The dough, flour, a couple of more ingredients. It's simple, you know, but here not to waste your time. Pillsbury Dough, they do a good job of making biscuits, especially the grand fluffy ones. So why not put that into my turkey and chicken mix? And it sounds like it's going good. So what I'm going to do is actually start placing the pieces in there. If you can see them, 
Let me put the camera right there on them. Looks perfect. So I just cut them up in four pieces. So what you're actually going to see me doing is actually putting them into putting them into the pot for the final presentation. Let me set up my tripod again and you guys will be able to see that. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, it smells so good. Look at those dumplings just complimenting, complimenting the rest of the recipe. You got your suit on, or if you're a woman, you got your dress and your heels. This just like the bow and tie. This is just like the croissant on your chest for the ladies, you know what I mean? You gotta come in elegant, and this is elegant right here. Man, they smell, smell so good. And I like a lot of dumplings. That's why I use two of them. I use, I was gonna start with three of the creams, but I'm like, okay, let me use four. Why? Because I like creaminess, super creamy. And like I say, I'm feeding some kids. My kids, man, they're, they're, they over 250. Just the two guys, man, they're over 250 a piece. And wait, and they eat, man. They ain't got no time for messing around, small balling around in this house. So it's like I'm eating football players, feeding football players, you know? And if you guys can see my size, I'm not no small cat either, you know? So I like putting something on the damn plate. And I also like putting a, enough food in, in the pot just so we can have leftovers. Actually, to me, some food carry leftovers where the leftovers are, man, just as good as the presentation as, 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 uh, as you're making it and as you're finishing it. Okay, look at that right there. Yeah, those dumplings going in. So what I'm going to do is let these dumplings set in with the chicken, set it in with the veggies, and I'm going to uh, let it go ahead and mix it in for about 15 minutes. And let me say that I will be back for the last part, the last presentation of this. Man, I wonder should I have a mukbang with my family so we can talk to you guys about the dish. Hmm, I wonder if I should. So like I said, I'm the only one here. And those guys should be approaching me in less than about 30 minutes to an hour. And I might just do that. So bear with me and I'll be right back for the final presentation. Okay, YouTube, I'm back for the final presentation. Would you look at that? Chicken and turkey dumplings. Man, the dumpling is so fat, so creamy. I'm going to wait until my family gets home from work from school, let those guys come here, get the guys situated, and I'm actually going to have a mood bang for, for you guys to this presentation so I can see what they think of it and talk to you guys more about me and my family and more videos. So I prepare myself a plate. Me, I like veggies. So I chopped up me a couple of tomatoes and put it with my chicken, turkey, and dumplings. And before I get here, I'm going to try it. Give it a nice try because I told you before in my other videos, what's a cook if you don't try your food that you cooked? So thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for giving me a little bit of inspiration.
to do this thing for you guys. And I'm going to leave in my description the ingredients that I use so you can actually try this. Man, it's so beautiful. And once again, I tell you, this is Rob Dog. Double G's 313. Please hit a like, comment, and subscribe. Like I'm new to this thing, but I hope you love it. I come with different combinations and different theories of the way I do my thing. But you guys, everybody is born different, so you do what you like to do. And as I end this presentation, I end it with peace and love. Thank you very much. Please subscribe, comment, and leave a like.